Okay, in this video, we'll discuss this issue and how to resolve it as well. Now, if your email gateway is experiencing issue when delivering messages to the CPQ, okay, the centralized policy quarantine, and you received an alert that the CPQ certificate is expired. In that case, you need to execute this command, update PVO cert in the SMA, to resolve the issue. Let's say you did not get an alert and you wanna confirm what's really going on. Well, I can help you with that as well. Also, it, it also says you can ignore this notification if you have not enabled CPQ or have already corrected it. Okay, let's jump right into uh, the CLI. Okay, now we're at the uh, CLI of the ESA. What I was talking about is the, uh, I was talking about this uh, active, RCPTS. So when you run this command, you'll see in this output uh, something like this mentioned, the CPQ host. And when you see that right in front of this, you'll find that the active recipients number is huge or not necessarily huge, but uh, you can see that, you know, it's not able to deliver and that there are emails in the delivery queue active recipients, right? You'll find a star right before the CPQ host. Right, which is which would be mentioned here. You'll find that it's down and you can confirm that using the command host status, the CPQ host. When you run this command, you'll find that this host is down. So what you do in that case, and uh, apart from this, you'll also find that you got an alert which says that the certificate is expired, which I showed just before jumping into the CLI, right? So if you're sure about that, what you need to do is you can just go to the SMA, Okay, let me just go to the SMA. Right, so in the SMA, what I can do is I can just run this uh, command, right? So I'll be just doing it. So update uh, PVO cert. You run this command and uh, you wanna proceed with the certificate update. So one of the internal services restarts. If I do this, yes, it says an internal service restart is needed for the changes to be effective. Number of seconds to wait before blah, blah, blah. I'll just say enter. Waiting for the listeners to exit. Great. Okay, there you go. All of this is done and uh, that's it. But the issue is not yet actually resolved. You need to go back to the ESA and run the deliver now command. So you do a deliver now, hit enter, hit enter. And here you mention the CPQ host. As soon as you run this, it's gonna say that it's scheduling all the messages to the CPQ host for delivery and so on. And on the SMA, as we saw, it said the certificate update is successful. Apart from this, okay, once once this is done, you should be able to check it out. You run the host status command, the CPQ host, you'll find that it should show as up under status. Also, not just that, when you run the top hosts command and uh, active RCPTS, when you run this command, you'll find uh, you won't see the star anymore uh, just before the CPQ host, all right? So, and you'll find that the active recipients number is slowly going down. Not necessarily slowly, but yeah, you'll see, you'll see that it goes down. Okay, now that's how you resolve this issue. That's it, done, no commits required, no nothing. All right, now uh, coming to uh, the second part where let's say you did not get an alert. Okay, so far we have done, we're done with the issue, it's resolved. Now for those of you who did not, let's say, who missed out on the alert somehow, or the alert was sent to some other email address which you were not a part of or whatever, in that case, you can just run the grep command in the CLI and uh, mention something like certificate is expired, like a certificate has expired, and uh, just search for it under mail logs, and go for it. So once you once you search for it, you will find a ton of results um, with the date of August eight and and onwards, right? If you find any anything like that, then yes, this is for you. And also, uh, you need to confirm it. Um, okay, let me just show you uh, the kind of uh, logs that you might find when uh, something like this happens, right? So this is the kind of log you would see. Let me just copy it and let me just paste it. Okay, let me not paste it here this way. 
okay, this is the kind of log you'll see, which will say TLS deferring, uh, verify error certificate has expired, and TLS was required but could not be successfully negotiated. But with this D DCID, you'll just need to copy this and run a grep for this DCID. So something like this. Uh, let me go back to the CLI. And here you can run a grep on this DCID on the mail logs. Well, this is something you'll do to confirm that it's actually giving you this error uh, for the SMA in the output. You'll find the IP address or the host name of your SMA, right? And it will clearly, uh, well, then you'll be able to clearly understand that this, this DCID number was for uh, the connection towards the SMA and the certificate error that we saw was uh, actually for that, right? And then... Um, all of that, we've covered all this. Oh, I think we should be good. Apart from this, yes, just one more thing. On the SMA, if your SMA is on 11 dot something or 12 dot something, then you need to make sure that you update your SMA to 13 dot something, okay? Well, that is uh, important. Okay, I hope I did not miss out on anything, but this should get you going. And uh, yeah, thank you so much uh, for watching the video. Uh, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and uh, you have a great day ahead. Thank you. Goodbye.